Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Lockout Men podcast, MTC edition. You know what's up? Y'all know what it is? Lockout Men makes the call. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men makes the call. I really do appreciate you guys coming on and joining me for this episode right quick. So in the community posts I set up for... um, For you guys, I asked you guys, in what order did you want me to call first? And you guys was like, hmm, I don't know. So basically what I did, I came and gave you guys the, um, gave you guys the suggestions. And there it is. 39% of the call, I mean, 39% of the votes want me to call Food Liner first. Then Jordan Carriers, then Ryder Express, Van Wick, and Green Line Transport, I mean Transportation, which comes in last with 9% of the votes. So that means that I'm about to get on the phone right now for you guys. Food liner. We about to check, we we about to check out and see what uh see what food liner is about for a little bit you know let's let's go over some bullet points you know we don't want to we don't want to make this you know lengthy and let's let's see what let's see what food liner got to offer now food liner is a tanker uh a tanker company i i don't see no type of uh no type of drive-in or anything like that or reefer they're strictly tankers and i'm not sure whether or not they're hazmat but being that is food i would assume not i think it's like non-hazmat but we'll we'll find that out too when when we when we call them up food liner offers health insurance vision benefits dental flexible spending program don't know what that means they offer life insurance 401k vacation pay okay they oh they also offer holiday pay they offer personal days. Oh, let's find out how that personal days work. DOT inspection compensation. So that means if you get a clean DOT inspection, they'll they'll hook you up. Detention pay and pay packages. Now I'm assuming that this is a lot of a lot of waiting while you're getting loaded. So you probably might get paid detention. Uh, annual longevity bonus means that you get a you know you get a bonus every year. Breakdown pay, quarterly point I mean quarterly performance bonus safety service. Now, if that's like quarterly, it's like every three months that they'll add up the add up the miles and give you a you know, give you a couple of more cents extra for the uh for the safe miles without no without no D, without a DLT a bad DLT inspection, no accidents and no incidents you know what i'm saying so that might be that might might be good for you might be good for you you know what i'm saying um they also let me see hold on right quick let me see here uh wrong background Uh, there we go yeah they also said that they they increased the sign-on bonus let me see yeah, they increased the sign-on bonus right there. So uh, let's find out what the sign-on bonus is. So with no further ado, with no further ado, let's uh, get them on the phone. Hold on right quick. I think I got it. Here we go. Hello, and thank you for calling Food Liner. Quest Liner and Quest Logistics. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. To dial by name, press 1. For employment verification and recruiting, press 2. For the owner. Recruiter verification. They say press 2. Thank you. 
Megan. Hey, you say your name is Megan? Yep. Hey, Megan, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Shine, and I, 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 I came across the website and, um, and see that you guys was hiring. It also says that y'all increased the, uh, the sign-on bonus. I do have I do have my tankers, so I'm just curious to know a little bit more about Food Lion. Is that all right? Yeah, let's have some questions. All right, all right, cool, cool, awesome, awesome. Um, so what's I got what's what's the minimum requirements to uh, to, um, to come on? So depending on the area, we like to have at least a year's worth of experience. Mm -hmm. um, there's areas that can take on less than a year mm -hmm. um, not all areas can um and then pretty much just a clean mvr and a good driving record okay now what about for what what about for drivers that that has like um uh duis or dwis um something like that um, it depends on how long ago it was. Do you do you know approximately how long ago it was? Uh, I'm just asking general. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, what would be the what would be the the minimum? Five years for oh. those types of expenses. Okay. Okay. So, where's the uh where's the terminals located at? Um, we have terminals all over. Um, where are you located at? I, I can tell you what we have that's close to you. I am located out of Ohio. Okay, so we have a few on our um, food liner side. We have one out of Dayton, Ohio. Okay. Um, and then on the Quest liner side, we have one in De DeGrasse, Ohio. Okay. Um, but th there's different lanes as well. Um, I know. Let me pull up. I know on the Quest liner side, which is our tank and hazmat, but that one specifically, you don't have to have your tanker hazmat because it's plastic it just thought we just put it in with our quest liner side rather than our food liner side okay um and i know that they're doing a little bit more hiring um i just don't remember what the cities were off the top of my head so give me just a second here okay We have lanes all over, and if you live close to one of our lanes, then, you know, we can definitely work with that. So I have one in Troy, Ohio, which is um, would be a local lane where you would be home daily. And then I also have one in Dayton, Ohio, on the Quest Liner side, and then um, Quincy, Ohio, and then DeGraff, Ohio um, yeah. right now. Okay. Okay. Now that's just uh now that's just pretty much out of my area. But do you you guys have you guys hire? Would you guys hire people out of Florida, out of the South, like Florida, Texas, California, stuff like that? Um, California. They we do have a terminal out in California, Florida. We only have one terminal, and that um, out of that out of that area so florida is a little bit harder because we only have the one terminal and they really don't do much hiring um out of that area okay all right now uh, now since you mentioned since you mentioned ohio uh it sounds like you guys got a got got a few up there for people that stay up in ohio um yep. you, you mentioned the the two different ones one i guess one is a food liner and the other yep. one is a quest liner Yep, so, so they're sister companies, and so Food Liner is going to be your food grade materials, and Quest Liner is going to be your tank and like your tank and your hazmat materials. Okay, so for the for the Food Liner, do you do you need your hazmat? No, Food Liner, you do not need hazmat. Um, okay. There are some locations that require you to have a tanker endorsement, but that just really just depends. But no, you don't need a uh, hazmat for the food liner side. All right. Now, what about for the? Now you mentioned hazmat and tanker for Quest, but you said you don't you don't really need your hazmat for the for the right. what is it called Quest? Yeah. For so for Quest liner, typically um, that's where you need your tank and your hazmat because you're dealing with you know hazardous materials and it's more tank on the Quest liner side, um, but. The what you would be hauling out of DeGraff, I believe it's 
plastic pellets and it's not food grade but it's not chemical either so you, it's not required for you to have your hazmat for that uh, area. okay so the opportunity the opportunity is a little bit greater still right. without me having yep. my uh without me having my hazmat okay yep. um now being that it says here on the website that uh that you guys increased the sign-on bonus what what is the sign-on bonus and how is it paid out um, so it depends on experience. Um, I believe it's either three thousand or five thousand. Um, let me pull up my. All right. All right. So the three thousand. Um, it's either three thousand or five thousand, I believe. Um, the five thousand you have to have, I think, tank or bulk experience within the last year. Otherwise, it would be three thousand. Okay, so that would that be three thousand for any driver that's coming in, or do they got to have? Because I got five years, but okay. do, do what's. But is there any driver that's coming in that can that can take advantage of the uh, three thousand if they don't have the uh, other experience for the five? Right. Yep. Yep. So you would still qualify for the three thousand as long as we can verify the experience showing that you earned that three thousand. If that makes sense. All right. All right. So what's the uh, so what will be my interview process coming in to Food Liner? So you would go and apply with our website on either Foodliner or Questliner, whichever side you're more interested in. And then we would get your application here at the corporate office. We would send that off to the terminal manager out of that area. They're the ones that look at your application and tell us whether to process you or not. Mm -hmm. If they want to process you, then we'll you know run your MBR, your background, all of that good stuff, do your employment verification. And then we gather all of that information up and then... Um, put you up for review and then either myself or my supervisor will go through and look through everything um, and kind of, kind of compile everything down and send it out to the terminal manager and then it ultimately it's up to him or her to make that decision whether to bring you on or not and then you know they should be reaching out to you and you know asking you questions to make sure what you're looking for is what we're looking for and make sure that we get you know everything all lined up all right so if uh if and when all that will happen for me how, how long how i guess i will be coming in for orientation so during orientation do i have to do, well well let me let me re, let me back up because i'm uh, my head my mind is going forward with questions that should be coming in the back so what's the what's the what's the process of of the of the i guess oh it's on the tip of my damn tongue and it just it just lost um coming in for pre-employment screening do you guys do hair follicles or is it urine um i don't know that safety handles that more than i do okay. um i would have to take you over to someone in safety or you could ask the terminal manager they should know as well too oh, okay okay so yeah. would you so would you know that would i have to take care of all that stuff before orientation or would i take care of it all of it during orientation um, so typically what would happen is we would process your application and then once we, you know, get all of our ducks in a row and, you know, whether or not the terminal manager wants to bring you on, once you're what we consider pre-qualified, it's up to the terminal manager and then they should be contacting you and then they should be setting that up um, to kind of, you know, get that in to make sure that everything is good uh, on that side of things. All right. So on average, on average, then, what's, what's – from the time how long does it take from the time uh the time i put in my application until the time they give me a call um depending on what is all on your background and how long it takes to get that back it can be anywhere between three to five days oh, okay 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 uh do you guys offer uh well yeah it says here that you guys offer vacation pay um yep but how is the how is the how many vacation days you get per year um, so for drivers, it's a little bit different. 
Um, we have it group now. It's just paid time off, so it's not vacation or sick time. It's not separated anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, just PTO with you know paid time off. Um, after your first ninety days, you get forty hours. Oh, okay, okay. Now, do is the vacation is like six months or is it's a total of a whole year? Um. So. Well, after your first 90 days, you get 40 hours. Um, and then at, after you put or have a year's worth of service, then it jumps up to 96. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what's your guys' policies on felons? Do you, do, you guys, uh, do you guys bring in felons? We have, yeah. It just depends on what it is and how long ago it was. Okay, okay. So, hold on quick i had it on the list okay so you guys so do you guys when i come on do you guys for the home daily do you guys assign trucks or are they slip slip seated um they use i think they typically like to assign a truck to you that doesn't mean that there wouldn't be slip seating i know it's not i don't want to say it's common but it can happen okay can i take the truck home if i want um, it's ultimately up to your terminal manager, but it is an option that you can't do that yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So when I come when I come on, you guys will offer me. Uh, I guess I guess uh, you'll offer me a preliminary job if everything turns out all right. Is that like is that like guaranteed in writing or no? Um, I I guess what do you what do you mean? Like, you know, if, 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 you know, everything, if everything goes okay, I, you guys will say, okay, we'll bring you on, but make, you know, after, after the orientation, after everything goes all said and done, I come into orientation that pretty much a preliminary job, uh, that will probably be given to me if everything else during orientation is all right. Yeah, I mean, as long as, you know, you once you're hired with us, you go through orientation, and that depends on how long, how many, how much experience you have. Sometimes if you don't have 12 years' worth of experience, training can be a little bit longer just because you don't have 12 months of experience. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, once you're hired on, you go through the orientation. Um, I would say it's probably a week for new drivers with 12 years of experience. It could be a little bit less. Just depends. It's up to your terminal manager and it's up to your trainer, you know. And they'll have sit downs with you, see where you're at with training. Then, if you don't have 12 months of experience, then you know sometimes it can be anywhere between four to eight weeks. Oh, okay. But you, you do get paid during that time. It would be $125 per day. And then once you're fully released from orientation and training, then you, you would switch over to your typical load pay, your cents per mile pay, all of that good stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So, being that, uh, being that, I I do go out with a trainer. So, how how long is the how long is the trainer? Uh, how long is the training process, and how long has the guys been there training? Um, it depends. We have trainers. I mean, each terminal typically has their own trainers. So, um, you know, most of them have been with the company for quite some time, so they know you know they know their ins and outs and all of that good stuff. Um, so it really just depends on how quickly you pick it up and how comfortable the trainer is releasing you. And like I said, you would have sit down with the trainer and the terminal manager, and they would be the ones to determine that. Oh, okay. Now, do you guys bring in uh, bring in new CDL drivers straight out of school, or do you guys have to have do they have to have like a, a twelve months experience or two years of experience? I mean, we'd like to have you at least have 12 months. Um, if you don't have more than that, then, you know, it just depends on how close you are to that 12 months, you know, oh, period. Okay, okay. What about uh, what about uh, sick pay? Do you, do you guys offer sick leave? That would be the same as PTO. PTO? So it's, it's just considered paid, paid time off. So oh. you can use it for doctor's appointments, sick, family emergencies, all that good stuff. All right, so on... Whatever. On here with the bullet points, it says right here flexible spending program. What is that? Um, that's for like I believe more medical. I would have to get you over to Marion. Would be a good one to answer those types of questions because it's 
through a different department and she knows more about that than I would. Okay. Um okay, would you know would you know the um would you know the uh detention and breakdown pay? Um detention pay, I believe it's after 2 hours um for your loading and your unloading. So you're stuck there for four hours. I believe you have to give up two hours before they start paying you. Mm -hmm. And breakdown, it really just depends. Um, I don't really know much about breakdown pay. You would have to discuss that with the terminal manager. All right. So what's the uh, what's the what's the pay per mile? It depends on the terminal. Each terminal is different. Oh, okay, okay. So, what would you know if that depends on? Uh, driver experience as far as what they're going to offer you uh, cent per mile? No, it's more of the area um, but because the cents per mile and the hourly wage for your detention and all of your hourly work, it's different per terminal and I'm, it's more based on location, I would say, more than it is experience. Okay, so so we will get so you guys offer you guys offer a hourly wage as well as a cent per mile. Yep, yep. So I mean, your your load pay would either be cents per mile or it would just be a flat rate. And then if you're doing you know like an extra unload or have detention or if the terminal manager wants you to do something around the yard, then all of that would be paid at an hourly rate. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's wow. All right. What about uh, what's what's the uh, main holidays do you guys offer? Um, I believe there's six. Um, I'm gonna say it's New Year's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Okay, the the main holidays. All right. So the equipment. What what equipment do you guys offer? Oh, Fourth of July would be at the other one. Oh, okay. What what equipment yep. what equipment do you guys have? I guess what what do you mean? What's by... what's what's the trucks? What's what's the um, model trucks? They're oh, um I believe they're most of them are Freightliner Cascadia's I wanna say. Um and there's a mixture between automatic and ten speed. Depends oh. on the yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what's the uh, computer system for the uh, for the truck that you guys use for uh, e ELDs? Yep, they're using or we use PeopleNet. PeopleNet, okay, yeah, I'm very for PeopleNet, the old one or PeopleNet on the tablet. Um, I think it's the tablet. I think it's the newest version, whatever they have. All right, what uh, what what did, what do the trucks come equipped with? Um. That, I don't know. It just depends on the area because some areas have dry bulbs, some areas have tinker, some have both. So it really just depends. No, what I what I mean what what I mean is what 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 the what the what's the amenities inside of the trucks like inverters, refrigerators, bunk heaters. Oh, that I don't know. You would have to talk to the terminal manager about that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do do the truck comes with a driver cam? Um, I believe so. I mean, if you know, obviously, if you're not going out over the road, it would be more of a day cab. And if you know, if you are going out over the road or going to be out overnight, they, you know, they like to send you one with a bed. I'm pretty sure. No, because, oh. no, no, no drive. No, no, no driver cam. The you know one of the, the Litex driver camera that's uh, that oh. records forward facing and outward facing. I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So, being that uh the local guys get home uh get home daily and I'm assuming they're home on the weekend for the OTR drivers and the uh regional drivers, what's what's the home policy like for them? Um it's different per terminal. So, I mean, you know, if it's going to be more local, I would say you'd probably be home every day or every other day. Um, if you're coming out of like the Chicago area, that's more regional where you could be going up to, you know, two to three days per week or out over the road two to three days per week. Okay. So, it, yeah, because we have so many different terminals and each terminal is different. It really just depends on where your home terminal would be and that determines a lot of different things. Uh, do you do you know what the, um, I guess, uh, do you know the, the average miles, like an average week there? 
Um, I think it would be specific per terminal, so that's probably a good question. Oh, okay, you kind of drowned out there. Would would you would you say? I said it's dependent upon the terminal, so it would be a good question to ask the terminal manager. Oh, okay, okay. What about a pet and rider policy? Um, it's notable. Notable for oh uh, because it's food be, because it's uh food grade I'm assuming. Correct. Oh yep. okay okay you guys um do you guys force dispatch out to New York City or California? Um I don't believe they do any force dispatching um but don't quote me on that I uh, I mean you know obviously you can refuse a load but you know if you're on a guarantee that will affect your guarantee um so it you know. It, I got you. Uh, for, they're forcing you to do anything, but you know it doesn't really affect your pay. I got you. I got you. Uh, what? Uh, I guess uh, my last few questions is: What is the trust governing that? Um, I want to say it's either sixty-two or sixty-five. Sixty, sixty-two Five. or sixty-five. Sixty-five. Oh, sixty-five. Yep. Well, all righty, all righty. What's your name again, Me- Megan? My- Megan. Yep. Megan. Well, thank you very much, Megan. I really do appreciate it. Um, this uh some pretty good information. Um, do you know anything about uh? It says on the it says on the website here that I can become an owner operator. So you guys offer leasing there too? Yep, we sure do. Oh, uh, okay. Is it is it a walk away lease? Um, I don't handle that. Katie, one of my coworkers, does, and she would be able to answer any questions about owner operators for the lease purchase program uh is she available yep just one second thank you and and megan thank you very much i i appreciate the time yeah no problem have a good day you too now Katie Christensen, owner operator coordinator and operations support specialist. If you have an operator calling in to discuss your payroll or deduction, please press zero now to speak with Kaylee Stegline. Otherwise, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief description of how I can help you. Thank you and have a safe day. Please leave a message at the tone. When finished, you may hang up or press. All right, all right. Well, I guess uh, I guess she's not available, but they it says here that they do have owner operate uh, owner owner operation owner operator. If you dream of having the freedom of owning your own business, become a full liner owner operator may be the perfect choice for you. So, yeah, I fortunately I didn't get that information for you guys because I guess she was kind of busy. You know, Megan said she was available, but I guess uh, she's not. But uh, what do you guys think of that call? What do you guys think of that call? Um, uh, I want to give, I want to rate it a three. <laughs> I want to rate it a three um, because majority of the majority of the questions that I asked her she she had she kind of like pawned it off to the uh, terminal manager so basically more the more questions that you have the general manager and or the the um, the what do you call it the um, orientation operator or who runs the orientation will give it to you as far as how much you get paid What's the cent per mile? The, the the thing that I took away from that is that you do get cent per mile for the miles you drive, and you get uh, hourly wage for the time that you probably might be waiting or doing whatever whatever else that requires the hourly wage. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that call? Make sure you rate the call in the comments below. Definitely let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Food, what was it? Uh, let me bring it back up again. Uh, food, food liner. They got, uh, they do have terminals all over and you pretty much will go 
and get, you know, whatever area that you're at, they'll, they'll put you with that terminal where uh, wherever area you're at. So if you're out of Ohio, you definitely got uh, lots of opportunities up in Ohio. Anywhere else, if you're down in Florida, mm, might be a little hard down in Florida. But, but, if if you guys are interested in Food Liner, definitely give them a call. 1-800-251-9569. Definitely ask for Megan. Uh, talk with her. And if you're interested in, uh, in becoming an owner-operator, definitely talk to the other young lady that she transferred me over to. Well, with that said, that's about it for this episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yes, sir. Please join me next time when I make another call to another recruiter. And um, and you guys will know what information that I would get for you. Yo, if you have any questions about the companies that you want to know about, leave it in the comments below. Um, if you have any suggestions, definitely get it in now so I can put it in a community post so they can get voted on. Leave that in the comments below. If you like content like this and more, definitely like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell for more content like this. Yo, Lockout Men makes the call every Wednesday at 11. And, well, 11. Every Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning. And every Friday at 6 o'clock in the evening. You can also check it out on all the podcast platforms. Yo, I appreciate it. And I will come back at you with another video, another call. Yo, you guys have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later. Peace.